Alright guys, uh, this is Ian with Votocycling. Uh, that's obviously not me in the camera. That's my best friend Stan. Uh, we've started playing disc golf at the same time. I'm gonna, he's my guest today. He's gonna talk about his in the bag. He throws a little bit farther than me. Uh, actually a lot farther than me. He has a power arm compared to me. My first video was for uh, men who are, or boys who are into, who Three just girls. started disc golfing. And then for girls who are in disc golfing but throw very similar to me. I throw about 350 to 380, just to give you an idea. He throws 500 casually. Um, so he definitely has a power on. So his bag's going to be obviously different. I wanted to give you guys a different perspective. So I want to hand over to Stan and have him talk about his bag. Go ahead, Stan. Hello, guys. My name is Stan. I'm a very competitive golfer. I play tournaments. So she asked me to come in and show you what my bag is because we're polar opposites of each other. So let's start. In my bag, I have seven putters. I'll start on my putting putters or my approach putters first. I have three AVRs. I have a DX AVR, which I approach and throw with. And this is more for my Anheuser's, where I want to throw it to the right. I can control the Anheuser by adjusting the angle of my disc. So if I want to if I want a nice slow turn, I'll just put like a nice big hyzer, it'll flip up and go right. So for my next one, my next stable one is a KC Pro AVR. I throw this also, this is more of a straight AVR. I can throw with a little hyzer, go dead straight for me, and sometimes finish to the left, but it's pretty much a dead straight. I even use this for approaches, but is mostly a driving putter. I have another Casey Pro Avier. This one's only meant for approaching. It's a nice stable one where I can throw it with a little hyzer. It'll just hyzer in nicely. I can throw all my putters about 200 feet. I can pop them 300 if it's a tailwind. My other driving putter is a Discraft ESP zone. This is a me hook. It will go left at all times. I got pops a little Anheuser. It will still come out to, and fade out to the left. I can throw this about 250-300 feet also depending on the wind. Now the Judge is a new addition in my bag. I used to put with the AVRs also. I used to have three AVRs. They're all max weight at 175 grams. The reason why I made the switch is that they glide a little better than the Aviars, the Casey Pro Aviar I used to putt with. So with these discs, I make a lot more 25 and 30 footers. So I made a switch. I love these. I've seen the drastic change in my game by shooting a lot more lower scores. So that's for these guys. We'll go with mid-range. I carried five mid-ranges. Three are from mold. We'll start with the most understable. I have an Elite X Comet. I just adjust the angle and I can control how far right I turn. So I can throw this up to 350. My next one I have a Z Comet also. This one's more a stable version. I throw this a little hyzer. I'll go dead straight. And then if I want to have a nice slow turn at the end, I can throw it pretty straight and then slowly turn to the right. But Nine times out of ten, I always come back at the end, so I throw this a little further. I could probably about 375, but it's a nice disc. Next one is I have two Z buzzes in my bag. This one with the one on top is a straight buzz that ends to the left. I have to pop a little hyzer, flatten out, and go straight for about 325, 350, and hyzer out. I throw it about 375, 400 on a good good day. Then I have a little more stable version of this disc. This one I can throw on a hyzer, it'll hold the line. And I can throw it about 350, 375. It's a nice disc. My me hook or stable version of a mid-range of the drone. I throw this for very windy days or if I need to throw a spike shot over trees or something. Throw it about 350. It's a great disc. Now we'll go to my fairway drivers. I carry five fairway drivers, but two different molds. 
We'll start with my leopards. I have two leopards, both star by Innova. I have an orange one, which is a flippy version, like the comment. I could adjust the angle and control how much right it goes. And then I have a red one, which is a little more stable version. I could pop it flat. It'll go straight, go a little bit to right, and sometimes it'll go left when it's, when it's losing speed, but most of the time it'll go straight and then right. Probably one of the most abused fairway discs that I use, and that we live in Illinois, there's a lot of open courses here, is my Eagles. I have three Eagles. I have a champion, Red Champion EL. This one I'm going to pop on a hydra, go dead straight for about 325, 350 feet, and then hydra out to the left. On a headwind, it flies like a leopard, so I'll throw this in a headwind with a little hydra and go to the right. But this is a great disc. My next ability up is a EX Champion Eagle. This is a nice stable version. I can pop a hyzer, it'll hold the line and go left. And a headwind, this will go pure straight. So it's a nice eagle. My next eagle is another champion one. This baby is a meat hook. I can throw this hard, throw this about 350, 375 feet, but this guy will always go left. I have another fairway-ish driver. It's more of a utility disc for me. It is a Champion Flat Top Firebird. I throw it's about 350, 375. It's more for super headwinds. I use it for a lot of spike shots and flips. And I throw a thumber about 350 feet. So this is more of a thumber disc I use or like a skip shot if I'm gonna go around tree. Sidewinder. This is more of my Anheuser disc or rollers. The red one is the little more flippier version. I can throw this on an angle and it'll go right by adjusting the angle. I can just throw a rollers. I can probably roll this about 550 feet, sometimes further on a good day. I also have the orange one. It's a little more stable, but if I pop in a nice slide hyzer, it'll go straight. And then I'll usually finish off a little bit to the right but it's also a great compliment to my all red one. Next is my bag is a PD. This is a new addition to my bag. I'm looking for a nice disc to compliment, for like compliment my destroyer, which I'll show you next, and my Eagles, because I had a big gap in discs, because I don't want to over torque my Eagles and then they flip over when I don't want them to, if I over torque them. So I my friend told me to pick up PD so far, I've tried them last month of the playable weather we had here. I like them so far. The PDC line is a little more stable than the S line. So, I will be throwing them a lot more next year, but for what I've thrown with them so far, they're very nice discs. They're both stable. And the bread butter discs in my bag are my destroyers. I throw these babies up to and sometimes over 500 feet if I need to. I have a Pro Destroyer, this guy is my Max Destroyer in my bag, I throw it over 500 feet. It's a beat up a little bit so I can put it on a little hyzer, it'll flip up and give me a nice flex. The furthest I've thrown is this like 560, so that's a great throw. My next one in stability is this Faded Out Star one. I throw this with a little hyzer, a pop up. Go a little straight from like 200 feet straight and then hyzer in. But I can throw this baby about 450, 425. This, I have another Star Destroyer. Do you see the stamps visible? This is more of a meat hook. This is for more of my windy days. If I need a hook hard, I can throw this about 425 also. And I have two more Pro Destroyers in my bag. I'm trying to beam them up to the stability to the blue one so I can have backups. And I also use these for water discs so I don't lose them. But what I like about the Pro is right off the bat, I can pop my hyzer. They'll stand up a little bit and go. So it's always nice to have another backup. So guys, that's pretty much my bag right there. One of the tips I've... I have is 
You see me have a lot of different molds. My bag is very simple. I have a lot of the same discs, like five destroyers, three eagles, two lepers, and etc. If you like how it feels, get multiples of them, throw them, learn what they do, and then beat them up and always try to have extras. Like when I practice, I have a disc, I have a Voodoo Zulu, which carries about 40 plus discs. I take that to a course, I take all my backups. And I practice. That's how I practice. I take my bag. I throw about 25, 30 shots in every hole. That's how you get better. So I hope this helps you. Any questions, you can message Volo Cycling. And I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So I hope this was helpful. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Dan. That was uh, pretty good. Excellent. Um, uh, did you talk about uh, Albert's tip on these putters? And uh, what? To, why do you would putt with one set and approach another set? When it's oh, feeling. Like like I said earlier in the video, I used to putt with all aviators. The one you caddy for Felberg. Remember he told you? Oh, the that tip? Yeah. The reason why I only putt with these is if you drive your putters, your putting putters off the tee, and you hit a tree or you hit a road, it's going to scuff them, they're going to change the flight on you, and you don't want that. You want to try to have your putters all beat in the exact same speed at the same time, so you don't have to adjust your form, and that could hurt you in the course in the long run. So whatever ones you prefer putting with, putt with those, do not throw them. And, if you have, and also get a stack of the exact same discs if you can. Like I have, DD is so great, they hooked me up with a stack of 15 black judges. They were really, they were really helpful, and I put with the, my 15 at home. I have a basket. I put with 15, and they're all about the same stability. So I hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, message Volo Cycling. I will answer them as fast as I can, and hopefully we'll get more videos from us during the springtime when it warms up. We can actually throw these frisbees. Yes, and also we're doing a trip this summer, and uh, we're taking both our cameras with us to record the courses in Minnesota. Hopefully that's where we're going. And we'll post those as well, and then we're also going to do tutorials as well. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, uh, leave it down below, and I will talk to you later. All right, you guys have a good day.